Alright guys, so right now we're going to be looking at the new content released just about a month ago now, I think. Um, we're looking at this guy right here. Um, I named him Meliodas. He is the Fire Homunculus. I felt it was appropriate because before he's awakened, uh, if you guys have ever seen Seven Deadly Sins, it's a Netflix original anime. Looks just like this guy. Um, anyway, so right now, I've got some kind of funky runes on him. Uh, I'm running Swift Revenge because I didn't have another set of Violent for a nuke setup like what I've got on Theo here, which would be ideal. Um, but anyway... Uh, right now, those are what his stats are sitting at. That's a pretty decent chunk of attack power there. Um, he has an insane amount of attack to begin with. Um, unfortunately, his accuracy is only sitting at 34% there. Um, kind of hoping this rune, uh, when it hits plus 12, I'll get an accuracy substat. Um, but anyway... Uh, the fun thing about this guy is the skill evolution tree here. Um, so as you can see, I'm one magic away. We're going to go ahead and take care of that real quick. And then we're going to see what exactly the difference is in what he does like when we evolve that skill. Um, let's see. We'll go fire because that seems to be where I'm sitting best at, and I have like 400 fires, so I'll be set for or the start of the next. Um, this is the team I'm running right now. Um, I have run others, but since the Rift B Boss nerf, I think this is the best team I have at the moment. Um, I'm scrolling through my mons here. If you guys see anything that you think would work better, go ahead and leave a comment. Um... I'll change it up, I'll give it a try, I'll post a video of it, and we'll see how it runs. Um, but, the... Yeah, I, I guess we got it. Um, from what it seems like, the point of each of these Rift Dungeons is to test a specific archetype of monster, along with your overall playability. Um, the Fire one, as you can see right here, seems to be... AoE damage. Um, you can't target the Rift Beast directly. You have to use the old school term, uh, splash damage the minions, and then just nuke him as hard as humanly possible, as quickly as possible. He doesn't deal all that much damage. Um, it's pretty easy to handle with just Colleen and Bellad on there. Um, as you can see, he's also fairly squishy for the most part. And by killing those minions before he can send them at you, um, you actually deal with quite a substantial amount of damage to him. So we're gonna go ahead and reduce him to Groggy real quick with Sigmaris. While he's in his Groggy state, he takes an Reachable amount more damage and then we're gonna go ahead and attack boost and I mean look at that 42k There's no way my Theo would ever do anything close to that otherwise And like 20k off of Vertihile, there's there's no way um, The other debuffs don't really do all that much a brand would be nice I don't really have a water monster that leaves brands. I can't think of any off the top of my head either Um Let's go ahead and work him down a little more. Six fifty four K before re up, that's not bad. Go ahead and attack boost again, and we'll smack him around as much as we can before he gets those minions up. We want to make sure we don't use the AoEs with cooldowns until he has the minions, like right now. We're going to go ahead and drop as many of those as we can. 
I left two left. Um, I wouldn't use Soha's AoE to take care of just two of them because that's a waste of the cooldown. And just the two of them doesn't actually do that much damage, which you'll see in a sec. See, it, it's not terrible. Um, the Thorns of Despair is the one you gotta watch out for, to be honest. You do not want that getting to your back line. The moment it does, it, it's pretty much GG. Like, there, there's really nothing you can do about it. 77001. Triple seven, so that's always nice to see. Maybe I'll win the lottery. Uh, let's see what the guild's got that's going on right now. Poor Doc, and it's the MC era. We'll go take care of that here in a minute. But first. Alright, there's the summoning. Now we need Sig to go so I can drop these minions. We'll speed up. Oh, Sig didn't have his cooldown ready. Alright, well hopefully I can tank these minions... Um, otherwise this might be it. Oh, okay. See, so he's getting the thorns, just Colleen. And now I should be able to reduce him to Groggy. Uh... Shit. Okay, there we go. So he's down. Um, I'm gonna probably end up hitting for about a mil. I need that defense break, though. There we go, there's the mill. And I'm gonna lag hard. There we go. So he's gonna summon the fire minions, dropping everyone but Soha. And then Soha can clean up house. And that's game right there. So not terrible, I'm, I just hit for about a mil, which should be a B plus. Um, a minus comes in at I think 1 mil 400, but now I have enough magic crystals, which is all I needed. Um, as you can see, I'm hitting, I've hit a max of uh, 1.5 mil, which is quite a decent chunk. It's uh, a minus, uh, it's when you start getting those... Um, the pure magic crystals which you need for certain crafting um, when I get enough we'll do a video on that but let's face it not dealing with that shit ain't nobody got time for it but anyway we're gonna go to skills and I need 50k mana to do it is it 50k or 500k Fifty k. Okay. See, I can deal with that. I can do ten k more. Um, we're actually gonna go ahead and dig through my spare runes. Don't know what that speed's gonna end up, so we're gonna go ahead and keep that. Um, those poor enhanced runes. Oh. Literally just keeping these for the rune set bonuses. You know what? I can't even justify it for that. There's two. That one, however, I can justify keeping. And all of those grindstones. Um... <laughs> Yeah, those subs are pretty mad. There we go. So we will go ahead. Alright. Now that I've got 50k, let's show you guys what he does normally compared to what he's gonna do. 
plane. Nope, oh, Kabir. There we go. So Kabir on hell. I'm gonna do homunculus, and we're gonna do my second Theo that I gotta grind up. Go ahead and put Theo at lead so I can get my crit rate bonus. And let's see what he does. Go ahead and get that defense break. Oh, never mind. My Theo literally only has two will runes on him right now. Okay, now that we got that defense break on that one, I'm going to show you what the homunculus' third skill does. Watch the damage. 30k. Like, no problem, easy peasy. That's one debuff. First skill's hitting for about 8 without a defense break. Second skill's hitting for 18 with a defense break. He's not a very consistent monster, I will say that. Alright, so that's what he does right now. But let's go ahead and take a look at what he's gonna do. This took so long to do. Yep, we're going to go ahead and stick with fire. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I definitely needed the fire nukes. Um, I'm not actually going to waste any devil mon on him just yet, because I don't know what happens with the devil mon if you skill him up and then you evolve the skill, because it is a different skill. Um, I would imagine they stick, but I have more important things that are crucial to farming these essences out that I need to skill up first. Um, if anybody knows anything about it, uh, leave it in the comments. That'd be cool. Thank you. Um, anyway, I think what I'm going to go for next is, ironically, actually, the Flame Ray Chain. Um, I want to try to run Violent Revenge on him because when you drop the defense break on, uh, you get a nice revenge hit, and then you come back around with the third skill and just shred through the monster for ridiculous amounts of damage. I mean, defense break plus an additional 120% damage. I mean, just with defense break and 30% damage, he was doing 30k. That's a lot of damage. Um, I don't know how much validity there is to it, but someone in my guild was saying they saw a fire homunculus crit the raid 5 boss for 375k and one shot the boss. Um, that is an insane amount of damage. I've never seen anything in this game break 80-90k. Um, so if that's true, awesome. Uh, definitely gonna have to try it if not we'll see i mean it's still gonna have to be worth it at this point um oh cool double xp is going um we're gonna go ahead and go back to Tulane. nope uh, we're back to kabir we're gonna go to the same stage and we're gonna watch what he does Now, I understand everyone's choice with the water one, like most people I know are going with the water one, simply because he's absolutely broken for Tower of Ascension, or for Trial of Ascension, both normal and hard. Um, two AoE freezes, you just you can't beat that. I really, 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 really needed a fire nuke, and that is the only reason I went with this choice. Um, unfortunately, I don't know that we're gonna actually going to see him land a dot at all. Because we're actually just killing everything too fast. Oh, there's one. Okay, so it lands one dot for one turn, which means that will kill him. 
and then we're gonna magic bullet this. Now, the next skill evolution causes it to do four of those. Not one, not two, four. So his first skill acts like Orochi's third, which is ridiculously broken. It's so overpowered in this game. Um, the unfortunate part is you can't run him as your arena or guild defense. Gonna go ahead and give this guy credit where it's due real quick. Um, she's so, so good. Um, anyway, so that's what evolving a homunculus skill looks like. There's literally nothing special when you do it. Um, like, it, it gives you nothing. They, there is no cap anymore. What the hell are you talking about? Anyway. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video real quick, and I will be posting another one shortly of the guild battles, because this should be interesting. Everything's already half dead, but I'll be showing you guys what Guardian 1 guild battles look like. And I'll see you guys in a minute.